Today, few people remember this, but during the Second World War, the Red Army gunners adjusted Mosin rifles to the barrel of the guns. This system worked flawlessly. Why was it necessary to do such a thing at all? There is a fairly rare photo of the Second World War on the Internet. It depicts several artillery guns and a group of Red Army soldiers, most of whom are sitting at a distance. Others stand next to the guns and including the Mosin rifles to their trunks, which for some reason are planted on wooden stalks and ropes. Why is such a system needed and what are the soldiers going to do? In fact, the captured situation in the picture is not at all some kind of soldier's humor and not even a fake. From the beginning of the war, artillery held back the offensive of the Wehrmacht troops throughout the territory of the USSR. Since 1943, with massive fire it supported the offensive of the Soviet troops and the liberation of the territories occupied by the Germans. Thousands of new guns were manufactured at the factories every month and in the rear, according to an accelerated program, artillery crews were trained with their subsequent dispatch to the front. In a short time, it was necessary to train new gunners capable to performing combat missions, as there was an acute shortage of ammunition on the front line. Very few real shells were allocated for training cadets. The photo shows a lesson of gunners who are being prepared to be sent to the front. The rifle on it is a simulator that was invented in the Red Army to train gunners. The rifle is aligned with the gun sight and its trigger is connected by wire to the trigger mechanism of the gun. The rifle itself is loaded with a tracer ammunition. This is necessary in order for the gunners to practice aiming and shooting rifle cartridges instead of the real shells. This was done for economy and security. If a fighter correctly sent a tracer cartridge to the target several times, he was allowed to shoot from a real shells. Tracer ammunition in this situation is needed so that the mentor and the student can see where the shot flew and can judge the effectiveness of firing. Such simulators were used after the war, moreover, they are still used today. For example, when training grenade thrower, at first they don't use grenades, but a shooting practice device, which looks like a grenade with the only difference that instead of a rocket engine and a real charge inside, there is a rifle barrel and a trigger mechanism. After the successful completion of the shooting, it's set to fire from a blank simulating a combat grenade. Training in firing from the tank guns take place according to the same scheme, using an extension barrel. It takes the original barrel and is loaded with cartridges with an armor-piercing incendiary bullet. That's all for today. It was Tim and the Eastern Front channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video and press the bell and you will never miss a new story. I wish you peace and health. See you.